this morning uh, while I was praying uh, and just sitting before the Lord to see what he would uh, uh, say to me, I found myself saying these words, I believe I will see. And then I went on to list a number of things that I've been uh, believing for, that I have received a word about the word of the Lord. Uh, and I've been waiting, uh, as many of you are waiting for the fulfillment uh, and the manifestation uh, of that word. So I, uh, I, I just proclaimed uh, to the Lord, I believe that I will see your goodness uh, in the land of the living. Uh, which is uh, Psalm 27, 13. Uh, I believe I will see uh, all my debts paid. I believe I will see uh, your abundance for every good work. Uh, I believe I will see the restoration uh, of those things in my life that I'm believing you for. I believe, and then I listed them, of course. I believe I will see um, uh, particular healings uh, and restorations in my uh, physical life and body. Body. Um, and I, I, of course, listed those. Uh, so the Lord was quickening to uh, just make a statement of faith. Uh, but, but these were the exact words, I believe I will see. Um, Jesus, in John 11, verse 40, said, Jesus said, did I not say to you, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. You will see your healing. You will see a, a manifestation in your life of those things uh, that you're standing for. Uh, we know that this is a time, from what other prophetic voices have said, this is a time of harvest. Uh, one precious prophetic voice, uh, Yvonne Atia, I think I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, she and her husband received the word of the Lord that June is a boomerang month. Uh, and the Lord had quickened just before they uh, issued that word a few days ago. Uh, he had quickened to me, Isaiah 55, that not any word will return void without accomplishing the purpose for which it is sent. So uh, a boomerang comes back to the sender. Uh, it's sent out and then it comes back to the sender. So, so the Lord is saying to us, uh, and again, this is Isaiah 55, that, that he sends forth his word to the earth, much like rain and snow covering the earth and causing it to, to bear and sprout. Um, and then he says, not any word I have sent forth will return to me void without accomplishing the purpose for which I've sent it. A few days ago, or a couple of days ago, uh, I uh, issued a, a word on my community channel. Uh, the Lord spoke, look carefully. And uh, I, I believe there are several shades of meaning. Uh, one was a warning, be careful how you walk. Uh, but the Lord quickened uh, this morning another application and another uh, uh, meaning uh, that he was giving uh, for this word. He says, look carefully at that which is already growing. And then he reminded me of the word in Mark 4. Uh, it's the parable of the sower and the seed. Uh, but in Mark 4, starting in verse 26, it says, And he was saying, The kingdom of God is like a man who casts seed upon the soil. And of course, we know the seed is the word of God. And he goes to bed at night and gets up every day. And the seed sprouts up and grows. How? He himself does not know. The soil produces the seed by itself. First the blade, then the head, then the mature grain in the head. But when the crop permits, he immediately puts in the sickle because the harvest has come. So as with anything, those of you who plant gardens, uh, those of you who grow flowers, um, you plant a seed and you water that seed. Uh, you don't dig that seed back up, uh, but you watch it grow and you, you look uh, eagerly, anxiously and eagerly every day. Uh, and first what you see is, is a little blade uh, and then you see a little bit more uh, of, of what is to come. Uh, so it comes out gradually. So I believe the Lord is saying, 
saying. Uh, the harvest is here. Uh, we're, we're not to say four more months and then the harvest. The harvest is here. But look carefully uh, at what is already growing, what already is coming up uh, of that seed that has been sown. Um, this is a, a precious time of harvest. You will reap according to what you've sown. It will happen quickly. So Father, I just pray for an acceleration of the growth of the seed that has been sown. May, may it not return to you a void, but it will. We decree it will, according to your word, accomplish the purpose for which it was sent in each of our lives. In Jesus' name, so be it.